Johnson makes a comment like, this is the most fun I've ever had mm -hmm. in all my years of professional mm -hmm. hockey. That probably resonates in the room, doesn't it? Like, well, like you said, the grass isn't always green. That's right. And uh, yeah, I think I think that whole situation speaks for itself. I mean, I, I don't I don't think it was by coincidence that um, that trade was made and, um, you know, the atmosphere and the morale and the, and the unity and, and all those things that come with big trades like that that didn't get better. And, um, you know, whatever happened uh, with Jeff and whatever his reasons were, um, you know, I think we're, we're a better team now with Jack and, and uh, you know, I think it's, he's fun to watch and I, and I hope, you know, I look forward to hopefully uh, watching him play quite a bit more. You're on the record as saying Rick Nash is the best captain you've ever played for. How do you follow that this summer? Are you tuned into TSN? Do you hear from like teammates and call? I mean, just like I said, uncertainty. That's got to be a tough situation to be in again. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, that's not to take anything away from other captains I've played for. I can think of one other one that was Scott Mellenby, and I played with him at the end of his career. And, um, you know, when I say Rick's the best, I, I, I think that uh, there's a lot that comes with that, and, and not to mention the best player. So um, when you, he's irreplaceable. He, he's um, obviously the guy who's um, done the most for this organization in a lot of big ways. And uh, it was scary to think that we could lose Jeff and and, and not replace him, and, and we're a better team when the dust settled. Then. I think these things have a funny way of working themselves out, and if if they still feel that, uh, and if Rick still feels, and everyone feels like the best thing is to move them, then I'm sure that you know what we get in return will, will make us a better team. And, and at the end of the day, that's all you want is guys who want to play here. Housekeeping items. Any off-season surgery for you? No. Uh, you know, I got a clean bill of health. Uh, they, they did a couple math tests for me, and I failed them, so everything's normal. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, I, that, this was a tough situation for me, uh, not going through a concussion like this before. And, and, you know, people say, well, play it safe. You know, you're not playing for anything. And I think that was the toughest comment to hear. I felt like I was playing for everything at the end of the season. And to sit back and watch was definitely frustrating. But, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping down the road in years to come, it'll be a decision that I think was obviously an easy one. And who's your trainer? Where do you, where do you work out in this uh, I'm going back up to Sudbury, Ontario, where I always do. That's, I, I say I have a big training staff because uh, in order for me to spend time on the ice and in the gym where I need to be, um, I get a lot of help from family up, up, up home where I'm from. And, um, both my wife and, and, and my family and parents are all up there. And, uh, they're certainly excited to see the little ones. I know my, my parents haven't seen the grandkids in almost a month, and they feel like that's a lifetime. So we'll make sure that they get to spend a lot of time with them there in the upcoming months. And Derek, besides obviously getting healthy, do you have any goals for yourself this off season? Anything you'd like to work on? Um, you know, I think um, nothing in particular, but just getting better. I think that, you know, I've set individual goals for myself. I thought I was close to meeting those until I got injured here in the last month of the season. And, um, you know, for me, again, until I sign on that dotted line, and even after that, there's no guarantees. My biggest goal is going to be to be a regular in the NHL again, like I was this year, and, um, you know, to keep getting better. And, and uh, I'm a small guy, so for me, getting a little faster never hurts. <laughs> Thanks very much.